that he who began a good work in you will perfect it on the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. I didn't plant the church. No human being planted this church. Jesus planted it five years ago, six years ago. Like Apostle Paul, he sowed the seed. Apollo covered it, but somebody was watered it, and God was nurturing it. Yeah. If you water it and it does not grow, what are you going to do? Mm. So somebody planted the church. And some people are watering it. Yeah. But God is watching. Amen. He's watching our faith. Amen. Do we want it to grow? Yeah. Or do we want to be wandering in the wilderness? Mm -hmm. My prayer today is that this church will grow in Amen. Jesus' name. Yeah. And finally, don't consider yourself to be wise. Mm -hmm. Fear the Lord yes. and turn away from evil. Amen. This will be healing for your body and strengthening for your soul. Amen. Unfortunately, many people believe themselves to be wise and hence do not fear or think they need to learn from anybody. Mm. I am happy, however, to mention that in this church, we always remind ourselves this phrase, iron sharpens iron. Yeah. And I wonder if most of us really understand the wisdom behind this idiom. Oh. King Solomon was asked by God what he wanted from God. King Solomon did not ask for long life, riches, victory over his enemies. But he asked the Lord for a spirit of understanding, a heart of understanding, which is wisdom. Mm -hmm. And God granted him in addition to wisdom, riches and honor. Mm -hmm. How many times oh, have yeah. we missed the opportunity? How many times have we missed the opportunity mm -hmm. to learn from others because we are either too proud mm -hmm. or too arrogant mm -hmm. or too shy and lethargic mm -hmm. or be devil with the destructive spirit of insubordination, mm -hmm. which has been the cause of the calamity of many young people today. Yeah. Do not consider yourself to be wise. And why is God warning us in the Holy Bible? Let us consider the following passages. Proverbs 1, 5. My son, give attention to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding that you may observe discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. The lips that reserve knowledge seek wisdom and knowledge. And do not indulge in idle gossip backbiting, but always contribute positive to the growth of the church. Does not spend useful hours texting and web surfing, but think about God. And in Proverbs 3, 13 to 17, how blessed is the man who finds wisdom. And the man who gets understanding, for her profit is better than the profit of silver, and her gain is better than fine gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire compares with her. Long life is in her right hand, in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. The Bible gave us hope in James 1.5. Since wisdom is not deniable to the children of God who fear Him. But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, yes. and to be given to you. Yes. But you must ask in faith without yes. any doubting. Yes. For the one who doubts is like the surf on the sea, yes. driven and tossed by the wind. Yes. In verse 7, for that man ought not to expect that he will receive anything from the Lord. Yes. Our God is good. All the time. And he will give to everyone according to his needs. Yes. Ask for wisdom today. Mm -hmm. Seek wisdom today. Glory and you will find wisdom. Amen. But not in the council of idle gossipers. Mm -hmm. Not in the company of drunkards. Mm -hmm. Not in the company of drug peddlers. Mm -hmm. Or in the circle of social club. Mm -hmm. But in company of the wise and God-fearing people. Amen. Who meditate daily yes. on the miseries of the word of God. 
And this will be healing for your body and strengthening for your bones. Amen. May God bless you all. Amen. Let us pray. From time immemorial, Father Almighty, you are God. There are four basic things that men lack and men pray for. That they are wisdom, they are courage, they are justice, and they are self-control. Oh God our Father, Thou who transcended and pervades all things, Manifest thyself unto us, O Lord, feeling after thee and seeking thee in the shades of our own ignorance. Stretch forth thy hand to help us, O Lord, who cannot without thee help ourselves. And reveal thyself unto us, Father, who seek nothing beside thee. Father Almighty, help us to have in our lives the virtues which are good in you. Give us wisdom, O Lord. O oh Lord, to know what we ought to do, what we ought to say, and where we ought to go. Give us courage, Father, to do the right thing when it is difficult. If even we are going to be laughed at for our faith, never to be ashamed to show our loyalty to you. Give us justice, always to be fair in thought, word, and action. Always to think of the rights of others as much as our own, never to be content when anyone is being unjustly treated. Give us self-control always to have our impulses, passions, and emotions under perfect control, never to be swept into doing things for which we will be sorry, never to do anything which will hurt others, grieve those who love us, or bring shame to ourselves. Hear our prayer, O God our Father, for the sake of your Son, our Lord, 